Coming back to South Korea, the investigation into Korea's fifth largest conglomerate, Lotte Group, is heating up. After a raid on Lotte's headquarters and the homes of key executives last week, authorities are beginning to gather the evidence to back up their suspicions of company slush funds and the group's murky governance structure. Kim Min Ji gives us the updates. Prosecutors on Monday said investigators have found over two million U.S. dollars in cash and a stash of documents belonging to Shin Gyo Ko, the founder of Lotte Group. The trove was found in the home of the founder's niece, and prosecutors believe that it comes from the personal safe in his office at Lotte Hotel. Although company officials questioned on the matter have said the money is from dividends and salaries, prosecutors believe it is part of a company slush fund. In fact, prosecutors say they have traced over $25 million in dubious funds to Shin and his second son, Dongbin, the chairman of Lotte Group through Lotte Affiliates. This comes after prosecutors raided the company's head office, key branch offices, and the homes of key executives last Friday as part of a probe into the slush fund allegations, possible tax evasion, and allegations the company stockpiled wealth through internal trading among affiliates. In light of the probe, the group's key administrative and management body is also under pressure. Prosecutors plan to summon key executives from the policy headquarters, which also employs close aides of the owner family. With that, the conglomerate's business plans are taking a hit. Lotte Hotel had planned to go public on the local bourse in late June, but that's been pushed indefinitely. The group has also withdrawn its bid to take over U.S.-based petrochemical firm Axial Corporation. The investigation comes amid the ongoing internal strife between the group's chairman Shin Dongbin and his elder brother Dongju. The elder Shin was stripped of his executive titles at three of Lotte affiliates early last year and has since been struggling to claw his way back up. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.